Hi, uh, this video will basically show you how to uh, link the variable or let's say tag uh, between uh, Delta DXMC, POC and uh, HMI and today we use a uh, DXMC dash P uh, because this is a panel type uh, motion controller as example so here you can see the system architecture we use a panel type uh, DXMC controller uh, linked to uh, EtherCAD remote I.O. And today we'll basically uh, focus how to use the POC and HMI program to control the output of uh, this uh, digital output module. So you can see the uh, DMOS configuration. First of all, we will uh, go to online and we can uh, click uh, EtherCAD uh, zero and we can scan the device. After that, you will find these three device, uh, R1EC5500, uh, this one is a coupler. Okay, so this one basically uh, just provide the power to uh, this module. And uh, you can see R1EC60. Uh, this one is for the uh, digital input, and 7 uh, is a uh, digital output. So here we can create a new project. And because we use uh, this model 10 inch. So we uh, click and create the project. Okay, so as you see, here will, uh, when you create a new project, you will post open in the DMOS and the uh, Multiproc. So here we click OK. And then uh, if you still remember, we can go here and double click. Okay, so here we uh, click switch to online. Okay, after that, we go here and scan our device. Okay, after that, uh, we just click uh, copy all device to project. And here you will see, uh, let's, let's check uh, from here. So this is the PDO setting, uh, because it's a, a Boolean device, so it will, six, totally 16 uh, output, so it will uh, map to uh, 16 uh, object okay after that let's switch back here so in the multi -pro, uh, program we have to, we just use the two move and define uh, four variable so here we define the input uh, variable or uh, tag or symbol as a uh, ecat a remote IO, the uh, IO, uh, do0 and do7. And after that, this is the two uh, physical output, uh, real output of uh, our module. So you can refer the analog module uh, address. So here would be the zero and the seven. After that, uh, okay, maybe we go here first. Uh, as you see here, we have the program, uh, motion task. So we use to move, uh, Command. Then we define the variable. Okay, so we uh, define this. Here we change to DO7. After that, if you still remember, here we will assign to some address. So, variable and Here uh, we have to map to some uh, the physical address. So how to check the address? We can check uh, from here global variable. But uh, here you might not see the uh, variable because we did not do the uh, compiler yet. So here uh, we might back to the Mars and go online, then later we click check and uh, export.
Okay, so here we'll uh, export the variable. Then we back to Demos and check. So you can see now we can see the digital output and because we just want to use a DO uh, 0 and the 7 so we just copy this one and back to the program after that we create another variable and put DO 7 and we map to another address 7 here we also put 0 Okay, after that, uh, let's compile and then we can uh, download the program. Then uh, switch to call. Okay, after that, uh, let's uh, do the check and compile again oh, so we export again okay after that uh, let's double click the HMI in the project tree and then we back to the DI screen setting so here you will see we use the default one uh, so the IP address would be uh one one two seven point zero point zero point one. This one is fixed, so no need to modify. But uh because later I'll try to show you uh through uh VNC, so we have to set the IP address of for this HMI. And if you remember uh the default of uh our DXMC uh default IP of DXMC is exactly this one. After that uh we go to the remote setting and enable a VNC function. After that, uh, we can import the variable through a uh, built-in PLC. Then click import and select my simple configuration. Then in the UI, we just uh, create two button and two indicator like this. Okay, so here you can see the communications uh, driver and controller we use this one and for the local host so here we click override IP and define the IP address 10 okay after that uh, let's go the configuration and enable the VNC function okay then we Click on Building PLC. Then we can import a uh, variable or symbol from here. And remember, this one you it will auto uh, assign to this address and click my symbol. So you can see uh, this is the four uh, variable we define in multiproc. After that, uh, let's go back to the UI. And we define to uh, push button. So first button we link to the building PLC and here link to a uh, remote IODI audio zero. And we might switch the color and on it show a uh, yellow and default is a uh, off. change to uh, 7 and for the description we change to uh, DO7 after that uh, let's find a simple indicator 
So this one will refer also to the BNTLC, but we will refer to the exact uh, DO. Okay, after that, that's a uh, duplicate, another one. And this one we change to DO7. Okay, after that, then we can download the program. So we can see this one is the IP or default IP. Okay, then we can access uh, through VNC. Uh, default password is uh, 127. Oh, sorry, 128. Okay, and we can go back to check the POC status. Okay, so as you see, and we can also check uh, from here. Now it's a uh, DO uh, 0 and DO 7 already on. So this is the how to control and link the variable between a uh, POC and an HMI. Uh, thank you.